Hi, I'm Skylar. It used to be really easy to save a QuickTime file back in Safari 5, but with 6, things changed just a touch. I'll show you a workaround for downloading a trailer from the QuickTime website and talk about a couple different methods of how you could achieve it. All right, so here I am in trailers. I'm just going to pick one at random and click watch. Just going to pause it because I don't actually care about watching it right now. What you'll notice up here is that I've got a menu item called develop. If you don't see this, we'll have to turn it on first. Click Safari and preferences. Under advanced, check this box, show develop menu in menu bar. Okay, great. Now. Go up to Develop and click Show Page Resources. Select this tool here, this little pointing finger. Click on the video and it brings you to the line of code which referenced that resource. Click this link. It takes us to the media file outside of its environment. Look up here. This is what determines the resolution of the file. I'm going to change this a little bit. Instead of 640S, I'm going to type in H720P. All right, there's the high resolution version. If I attempt to download this right now, a reference link will be saved to my computer. I'll do that using the following steps. Click the URL and move your cursor to the very end of it. Hold your Option key and press Return. All right, we saw that little link go down into my folder, and I'll click it. And actually, it looks like we got lucky. This is actually downloading the whole movie. Sometimes, if you don't allow it to load long enough, it won't download the whole movie. Changing the URL like we just did, removing the R and replacing it with the H, means that when we download this, it won't be a reference file. It will be the whole file. So there you have it, how to download a QuickTime file using Safari and maybe QuickTime 7. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.